Welcome to Tech Scene. For those of you new to the channel, I will be releasing some how-to guides, reviews on products, and some tutorials as well. For example, I'm going to be releasing a Nintendo Switch review and an iPhone 10 review in a few days' time. Please hit the subscribe button to be notified when these are released. Today, Apple have released iOS 12.3, and Apple have released a brand new Apple TV app, and they've also introduced AirPlay 2, and that basically adds support for smart TVs which are compatible with AirPlay, and so you'll be able to stream your favourite TV shows, music, and videos much more easily to your TV. What Apple are hoping to do with this app is to let people find TV shows and movies which they like. They're hoping that you'll purchase their Apple TV Plus subscription when that comes later this year for people living in the US and early next year for those living in other countries such as the UK. I've just downloaded the iOS 12.3 software update and this is going to be the first time I'm going to be opening the app. So I'm greeted with the nice overlay, welcome to Apple TV, all your favourites, all in one place, on all your screens. So let's start watching. So wow, it's completely changed, they've overlooked the whole look dramatically, and it's a much more simplified process. And I quite like it actually. So let's see, so you've got a movies tab, you've got TV shows, and you've got a kids app. So let's click on the movies tab first of all. So wow, I can see all the movies, which I'm guessing are from iTunes, but I think they also let you see other streaming providers as well. So let's click on Avengers Infinity War, great movie, nice image of Thanos there. So as we can see, you got the synopsis here, you got the trailers which come up there, and you got Related for Ragnarok, how to watch it, and you got the cast and crew, so let's click on Robert Downey Jr. And you got all his movies. He's also a producer on The Judge. Didn't know that. Oh, and that's quite cool. It's got his guest appearances in other shows. So that's quite nice. I'll be looking at those later on. And it's got an about page. And it's got Rotten Tomatoes. So they've actually integrated Rotten Tomatoes into this. So I can see that it's got 85%. And there we have it. So if we go back, you've got all the new and noteworthy. Great movies, great prices. So basically all these selections available. What they're hoping for is that this will be your go-to destination for when you want to watch new releases and any old TV shows as well. So if we go back to the homepage, let's scroll down the homepage. We've got a what to watch. So in the UK, we've got BBC iPlayer. I can see here, let's click on here, see all. You can see best of BBC iPlayer. And then we've got, oh yeah, so here we go got even more content providers as well so we've got itv hub we've got all four my five those of you outside of the uk these are basically just uk content providers in your countries these will be different depending on your region and you've got the trending section here you've got new movies so you can subscribe to apple tv channels so let's click on here so you can try it for free then it'll cost you money so here it says 4.99 a month so i guess these, this is like a subscription service provider if we go down on the home screen, you've got even more. So you've got Prime Video, so from Amazon. And then if we go into TV shows, we've got today's highlights, catch up now. New and noteworthy. Best of British, <laughs> obviously. Uh, browse by genre. So you've got action, animation. Let's go into animation. I quite like animation movies. Here we've got The Simpsons. Ah, so it's quite, it's a different screen now for these. So maybe TV shows have a different look compared to the films. And if we click here, so I've added it to my up next list. And if we click here, we click the share. So I guess I could share it to someone if I wanted to. And if we go into the last section, which is kids, just watch Mary Poppins or Spider-Man into Spider-Verse. Great movie again. I'd recommend you watch that. So then you've got all sorts for what your child might like to watch and you've got the age categories as well so 2 to 4, 11 to 13 and then if we click on my profile image here you've got my contact info, connected apps, let's see what this is alright so I can turn on and off the app which I like so i got all four BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub and so I can connect those up I've got manage subscriptions and I've got clear play history so if you want to delete your history you can just do it there if we go to my library, it says here you don't have any videos, so any purchases I have and rentals will appear here. And then if you go into search, 
you've got here, so we've got trending movies, we've got trending TV shows, so they've, they've split it up, which is quite nice to see. So if we click on trending movies, we'll press see all. And we've got Avengers again, so absolutely love Avengers, can't get enough of it. And I just really love this artwork, it really makes you want to just buy the movie, which Apple is hoping you do, obviously. It just looks like a really well-polished app and obviously took a lot of time to create. And that's really the gist of it all. So in the future, Apple will be releasing their own service called Apple TV Plus. They haven't actually set a price yet, but that will be released in the future. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up icon and please hit the subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new content, which I'm going to be uploading very soon. I'll catch you next time.